it's really tough to be a black person in America right now. Uh, not to say that it was easier earlier, but hopefully it'll be easier in the future. Uh, oh my god, I hope it'll be easier to be a black person in the future. It's really tough because people are constantly murdering us and it's like, can you not though? What I'm saying is, it's really tough to be a black person right now. People are killing uh, children because they're apparently terrifying. Oh my god, I've seen so many 12 year olds and they were fucking scary. It seems like every 20 minutes there's a new hashtag and there's another person to add to the list of the people who have been murdered in this country and it's just like, can you not? Can you just like stop killing black people? That'd be cool, thanks bro. Or can we at least get some justice if you're going to kill us? Like at least go to trial? That'd be cool. I mean, we don't expect much at this point. We know that, um, we pretty much know the result. We pretty much know what's going to happen, but like, it's still, it's really tough um, to be a black person in this country. It's like, even if you're not paying particularly close attention to that aspect of it, you're still being bombarded with these images. Like, you're constantly being bombarded with these images of children being killed or unarmed teenagers, I guess, which are children, though they would hate it if you call them children, but like unarmed teenagers being shot or the, you know, mentally ill being shot by police officers or trans women being murdered. And it's just like, it's overwhelming. There's a constant, it's constant stream. Like it's constantly on my Tumblr. There are gift sets of teenage girls being dragged out of their desks by grown ass adult men and it's like I can only I can only watch so much of that and I mean I don't I don't see all of it I mean so it's like I can't imagine what it's like for people who do see all of it and I don't have like you know like I'm not triggered by stuff like that so I can imagine I, I can't actually because I don't have that issue but like I can't even imagine what it's like for people who are like who are triggered by stuff like that constantly seeing children being shot and killed constantly seeing give sets of people being murdered, like vines, it's on a constant loop. So it's constantly on my Twitter feed, it's constantly on my dashboard. There are people coming into my ask box, there are people in my mentions asking me to talk about things and, tell, and like asking me how they should feel about things. And it's, it's really, it's so overwhelming and it's exhausting. So it's exhausting being a black person in America because there's a constant threat of the oppressors. <laughs> so there's that and we're constantly getting in like news about verdicts and people not going to jail or not even going to trial and it's just like it's really it's exhausting so it gets to a point where you're just like hey this is the worst it's never going to get any better than this so you know what's the point uh, and it's it's really tough um so it's okay to like to step back it's okay to step away from that uh, aspect of the internet. Heck, if you want to just leave the internet, that's totally fine too. I mean, I wouldn't do that because, you know, it's <laughs> as bad as it is on the internet, it's worse uh, out in the streets because that's where they kill you. But if you need to step away from that, if you need to not talk about it, if you need to not tweet about it, if you can't retweet everything, if you can't reblog everything, if you can't, if you just can't, that's fine. It's okay because it's exhausting. It's exhausting being aware of this constantly. It's exhausting constantly seeing this stuff. And it's, it's terrifying and it's the worst. So like if there are people who are your like go-to for social justice stuff and sometimes they just don't talk about things, that's because it's exhausting. <laughs> It's because it's tiring, that's because it's sad. Sometimes people just need to not talk about that particular aspect of the internet. Sometimes people just need to reblog gift sets of like Harry Potter or just like talk about stupid shit. People need to be able to get excited about Star Wars movies without other people being like, well, this thing happened in Malaysia. And it's like, okay, like I, I know that that's happening. I know that terrible things are happening all over the world all of the time. I know that terrible things are happening in America. I know that terrible things are happening in my state, in my city. I know that. <laughs> don't for a second think that I don't know that that's happening. I just need to not be living that right now. I need to be able to go talk about stupid stuff on the internet. I need to be able to get excited about things because sometimes it feels like that's not possible because 
all everything is just sadness and murder. So if you're a person who feels like, hey, I need to just not right now, that's totally fine. That doesn't make you a bad person. That doesn't mean that you're not woke. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, not um, part of the movement or helping the struggle. It doesn't mean that you're an oppressor because because you need to take some time for yourself. You know, self-care is a real thing, man. But if you need to go take a bubble bath, man, go get those lush bath bombs. You do that, man, because it's tough. <laughs> it's tough being a person. It is tough. It's tough. It's so hard. Like, it's the hardest thing there is, obviously. Sometimes you just have to do that. You just have to, like, not think about how terrible the world is for a few minutes. And it doesn't, it doesn't make you a bad person. It just makes you a person. If you just, oh my god, what I do? I just, I get a nice blanket, get a, a bottle of water, because the water is my jam, get a bottle of water, get a nice cozy blanket, and watch The Great British Bake Off, and it's just, that's, that will be my, my world for a few minutes. 